get yeah, that. Yeah, no, once you get that, let's look at it. The descendable, see? That was part of the... That wasn't a hole, you know what I mean? Was there, was there a crick in it? Huh? Was there a crick in that valley? A spring, I think there was originally. Was it right there? Was it, was it right there by where your house was? I think it was in there somewhere. Below those rocks there? Yeah, somewhere. I forgot where it was. But uh, it, was, it almost seems to be a spring because of the low, you know, how it was. But I don't know. I, 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 they had, if they had water in there, they must have water in there in the eighties. Yeah. Well, was your house that you moved into was it a log house or what kind of a house was it? No, it was a frame house, like you see some of these small houses that still yeah. up around yeah. here, the miners. Well, I wonder if if it was a spring, if water will ever come back there. You know, if when the water table comes uh, up. I think the mines just took all that away. Hmm. What was that valley called? Summit. It was called Summit, well, Summit Valley. Summit okay. Valley. I guess uh, what it did in them days, it included quite a bit, you know. Ah, there's a thing. And my wife, when she was in high school, when she graduated from high school. Let me see that. Oh, she's a cutie. So now, what was your wife's maiden name? Huh? What was her maiden name? Linville. Linville. L-I-N-V-A-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And what was her first name? Betty. Betty? And where was she raised? Huh? Where was she raised? She was raised in Idaho, Salmon, Idaho. Oh, how'd you meet her? Huh? How did you meet her? Oh, I went over there with a guy. I, 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 you know, I was, I was here and there and everywhere. And it, it's fate. Best thing that ever happened to my land, my life, got me there. What happened? Well, my my best friend that I, I was raised with, just like a brother to me. You know, I'd been at his house and that a lot. You know, I've been raised with him, see. Well, his, uh, his wife's, he was married to a Kern, see. Her mother was a Kern from the Gulfs, the uh -huh. oldest of them, see. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had two kids, at that, two little ones at that time, see. This, uh, baby, uh, and he wanted, she wanted to go over to see her sister. This is when times were tough, 1930, 30, uh, 36. And his tires wasn't good and go to Salmon up to the big hole at a bad road, you know. And he said to me, my tires are bad. And he said, hey, well, take a ride with us, you'll like it, he said. Uh, we might have a lot of tire work to do. I said, okay. Well, well we got over there. There was no oil then, you know, mm -hmm. 1936. No oil. And I always was on the go. Anyway, I never stayed home. And so we had no trouble. We got over there and met the family. There was three kids in the family. Her, she, she had a brother that was a little older than her, but they were all in high school. You know, he was out of high school, just got out. They were that, that was their age. And uh, we met them, everything was fine. We had a few glasses of beer. We visited in the night, you know, so we stayed there that night, had breakfast, and they visited the next day. And we started back, so get back in time. We had to go to work the next morning, you know. We had no trouble at all to come back. So it was uh, about June month or July, I think, uh, I don't remember. And uh, a couple of weeks went by. Pretty soon they brought the father of them in. He had double pneumonia. It was awful bad. They brought him in here. They never, Sam had never had much there. They had a 
hospital, but it was Mormon too, you know. Who the hell wants to be die with them? I wouldn't want to die with them. But anyway, uh, they brought him. He was sicker than hell. Two, three days he was dead. See. Well, here the family come over here, and I was a pallbearer for him, you know. And they buried him. And it just them things happen, you know. You don't pay any attention to them. I was always mixed up in something. Just went through my mind another just another occasion or something. Well, it was August month, July or August. I'm downtown. The rodeos on. I used to follow them rodeos. See, I like rodeos. I made Pendleton 25 straight years. You mean you rode in the rodeo? No, I never rodeoed. Oh. I don't go to see them. Oh. And uh, anyway. Uh, here I'm downtown, I'm by myself and I'm waiting for the parade on Park Street, see, here pretty soon somebody tapped me on the shoulder. Well, it was my, my she'd become my wife. It was a girl from Salmon, Idaho, see. <laughs> I just took very talked very little with them here, you know, at a funeral you don't do a lot of business. You know? I said, what are you doing here? She said, we moved over here, she said. I said, where do you where do you live? She said, on Pacific Street. That's right up here. Yeah. Pacific. We moved. We got a house up on Pacific Street. So the parade went by. She said, come on up to the house. I went up. Her sister, her brother, her mother was there, you know, visited. I started going there, and that, that's the way it ended. It started. Huh. That's neat. That fall, that was July, I think that... We got married in November, I think. Where did you get married? Yeah, we got married at uh, the, the, the church, uh, not, uh, not the church, the priest house. Uh, over here. Across from the Stewart Line? Yeah. Right yeah. there on Main Street? Yeah, Main Street. Who was the priest? I, oh, gee, no. I got to do some thinking. So you got married by a Catholic priest? Yeah, I was married by the Catholic priest. But we never, oh, we did it when I never had any money. Only had a payday. I had twenty-eight fifty or something for a week. 1937. Huh. She was a good person. Yeah. Get married in the front room of the of the of the. Huh? Did you get married in the front room of the priest's house? Yeah. I can't think. I, I, and then I. Was I'm it Father a, Rooney? No, oh. a lady in that. I, I, I'm a Catholic too, but I went there. There was another priest there. Now I can't think of that. Yeah. Yeah, I had to go and take instructions and all that, you know. Yeah. And then, but that was another priest and I can't I just can't get to think of it but I don't I, I the only t I used to go to church with her you know whenever sometimes but I, I I'm a poor church man. well now was it her brother was her brother named Henry huh was her brother named Henry Henry yeah yeah well, you were you mining with him? Did you mine? No, with him? no. And they, when another fella came here from Salmon, Idaho, he was in a CC camp. Del Reese was his name. Nice guy, nice guy, young guy, and uh, he knew them over in Idaho. See, he used to go to their house with their brother and that. Well, uh, then when they moved, when they moved here, he was out of the CCs. He came over here. He went to work in the mines. See, mm -hmm. and he married her younger sister. He was going with her while when they were living in Idaho. See, so they continued. Oh, they I got see. married here, Del Reese. He lives in. I just out of Pasco, Washington now. Well, her, her sister's dead. Didn't didn't her brother get killed in the Anselmo? Got killed in the Anselmo. What happened there? Fall ground, a big slab about that size hit him. Uh, had he been mining for quite a while before he was killed? Spent a couple of years. A couple of years, huh? Then Dell, he took off. He was originally from Ohio. Her 
husband. He was originally from Ohio, and uh, when they were here, they, he, he went, and then World War II started, or was going, 42. He went back, and he worked in the shipyards in Pennsylvania, see? And she went with him. He was married then. And uh, he worked there, and they transferred him out to later on out to Bremerton or someplace, mm -hmm. out of Seattle. Yeah, I guess it was Bremerton. He got transferred out there. And he worked there and the war ended. And he went down into Oregon, Pendleton, Oregon. And he lived in that vicinity ever since. He lives in just out of Pasco now. Yeah. He, he's 80, no. Yeah, he's 80, 88 or 89 years old. His wife, my wife's sister, died here a few years ago. She married another guy, Brown, and uh, they both died. And, uh, I used to go out that way a lot and visit them. They were good people. 